to have too many incidents occur. Um, and we just really appreciate as far as the residents working with us. Crime and cleanliness were two big things the city of Savannah had to think about ahead of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. WJCL 22 News' Lydia Blackstone spoke with police and city leaders about this today. She joins us live now from Lafayette Square. And Lydia, that's the square you were in during the parade. So what does it look like now? Well, completely different, Brooke. Obviously, this was a huge tailgating zone full of people on Saturday. Now it's completely clean. It looks like really nothing happened here. And I'll take a look at this video that the city of Savannah posted. You can see just how fast the squares were restored to their usual look. I spoke with police who say they made minimal arrest and overall people were very respectful and compliant. Mayor Van Johnson, Johnson echoing that, saying it took a large team of first responders and sanitation workers. Uh, man, it was freaking epic. Um, <laughs> I have no voice. I probably lost about 50 pounds. Minimal arrest. I think we didn't get our first arrest until sometime Saturday night. Now, we've requested all the numbers of how many citations, DUIs, arrests. The SPD let me know that they're going to let those, those numbers go tomorrow morning at Mayor Van Johnson's press conference. I'll be there covering that, so we'll have you those numbers so we can see in real time what it looked like when it came to crime in the city of Savannah this weekend. Brooke, back to you. So we'll have to stay tuned. Lydia, thank you so much for that report.